Hi, hello, my dear friends. Welcome back to the channel. This is the seventh part of elbow leakage. Before going through this video, I would recommend you to go through all the previous videos in order to get a better clarity. In this video, mainly I will focus on uh, some more details related to elbow leakage and then TX elbow leakage and then uh, the, the DC offset. Okay. So, first I will consider the RX part um, in order to talk about some more details. So, here I was mainly uh, talking about uh, the elbow leakage happening. Uh, uh, in this direction right in, in this direction but uh, uh, but what happens if there is a low leakage uh, uh, in this direction as well it all depends on how is uh, the design of the RF circuitry um, to know that whether there is a leakage or not uh, you can um, probe uh, the spectrum analyzer and you can see so in case if there is a low leakage in this direction then to the signal present at this point there will be a cos omega ct gets added right so then uh, if you if you actually take the spectrum of it and uh, see then you will see uh, such a kind of spectrum so at fc you will see uh, a small glitch because of this cos omega ct leakage and uh, to fc uh, you will see uh, we had uh, the high frequency component uh, um, as we had seen in earlier videos and at the baseband as well we had the baseband signal and along with it the unwanted dc uh, right so this is the low pass filter so once we pass uh, this particular spectrum to low pass filter with uh, having a, a spectrum of uh, this kind so all these are uh, uh, all these high frequency components will be filtered out so even if there is a leakage here uh, we need have to worry because uh, a, a low pass filter will take care of it all right this is one aspect the another aspect which i want to uh, talk is with respect to the q channel so till now i had considered only the high channel right yeah. I can consider Q channel uh, uh, and uh, explain a little bit uh, uh, there. So in the Q channel, um, the from the local oscillator, we are going to multiply sine omega ct. Right? So when there is a high end Q channel, which means the incoming signal uh, will be xb i of t cos omega ct minus xb q of t sine omega ct. Why it will be uh, like this, uh, that, is, that that would be a separate video. Uh, but for now, you can think that the incoming signal will will have the equation like this. So this will be passed to both I channel and Q channel. Let's say this is passed to Q channel. So this, um, if there is a low leakage in this direction, then to this signal, uh, the sine omega ct would, would would be added, right? So then this would be uh, getting multiplied with uh, uh, the local oscillator uh, sine omega ct. So then what will happen to the equation so along with the uh, you know the baseband signal uh, which is corresponding to q channel i would also get some unwanted dc right so you can multiply and uh, uh, check this so i will not go through the uh, mathematics of it uh, so now i'll talk about the tx elbow leakage at the transmitter will we have any tx uh, will we have any elbow leakage yes we will have elbow leakage so let us consider uh, this is a baseband block um, consider it as a black box for now input is uh, bits and output we got uh, some xp of n so this uh, in earlier videos are considered as real but uh, it could be complex as well if it is complex we will have both i component and q component so i had considered both i channel and q channel okay so here as well uh, you know to the high channel uh, we are going to multiply with cos omega ct and uh, q channel uh, we will uh, you know phase shift the cos by 90 degree and we will get sine omega ct and we are going to multiply with the uh, q channel so there could be leakage uh, in these uh, uh, parts as well so if there is a leakage uh, then we will see the effects so first if, if there is no leakage then whatever signal we get at this point if i plot it then I would have got uh, uh, the spectrum like this right which we had seen in the previous videos but if there is a low leakage and uh, because of which if there is unwanted dc then we will see that the the dc is unwanted dc is present at this point okay the same thing will happen even at the q channel as well but once uh, uh, we are uh, going to transmit this uh, definitely um, it is uh, it is mandatorily followed that we are not supposed to transmit anything out of uh, uh, the band specified okay so there will be a window or filter which will actually filter out to the uh, required band and uh, that would be sent over the air so when it is passed through uh, such a filter or window then uh, uh, you know this uh, um, dc component will be removed so no problem with this actually but what about the leakage in this direction 
so if there is a leakage in this direction then to this signal there will be a cos omega ct uh, added right so in this case this is present at uh, center frequency and uh, and uh, that will deteriorate the attenuation value at uh, um, you know center frequency so this cannot be eliminated uh, because uh, it will be also transmitted uh, because it is coming within the uh, band of operation so anyway this will be uh, received in this way uh, at the receiver and the the, the a similar pro procedure which i described in the you know receiver part uh, uh, will apply now i will talk about uh, uh, the dc offset okay because of uh, the elbow leakage an unwanted dc is introduced at the baseband right so if there is no such uh, dc introduced then uh, then we will see that uh, the constellation points uh, in a uh, in a idealistic way uh, they will they will be of equidistance from the origin right but now because of the presence of uh, uh, the unwanted dc uh, those constellation points would have shifted to some other location and uh, it is uh, uh, not uh, of equidistance from the origin all right since uh, there is an offset of uh, a dc introduced in the signal because of uh, uh, the unwanted component introduced at uh, uh, f is equal to 0 this impairment is also known as a dc offset okay so like that uh, since the constellation points where you know e your iq sample has got shifted uh, this impairment is also known as a iq offset and since it has got shifted uh, at a different location uh, from the origin so even this is also known as iq origin offset all of these name correspond to the uh, same concept uh, so do not get confused um, i hope the things are very clear thank you very much in the upcoming video let me talk about uh, you know at which section uh, the half subcarrier uh, uh, shift concept is uh, um, introduced in the tgpp spec and also let me show you at uh, uh, at what point uh, the spectrum of the baseband is uh, shifted uh, around the dc all right thank you very much have a great day bye bye